Peggy 16. Hello, everyone. This time, I would like to deliver directly to you our future plans for Wii U. In past Nintendo Directs, we have focused more on games releasing in the near future. But it's still early in 2013, so I'd like to change the format a little bit. I'd like to share with you some of Nintendo's future plans for its own software titles and services for Wii U. But before we go deeper into this, I'd like to talk first about what kinds of communication are happening in Miiverse now. We talked about Miiverse in a previous Nintendo Direct, but it was difficult to explain the true potential before the launch of Wii U because of the nature of the unique interaction that occur when many users are organically communicating with one another. Additionally, the only people who can really see what's going on in Miiverse are Wii U owners. Some of our Nintendo Direct viewers may not be able to truly understand what Miiverse users are feeling. There have been a lot of posts by many users on Miiverse during the two months since launch. But there are so many posts and comments on Miiverse that even Wii U owners cannot check every post and many of you may not have noticed when something was happening in Miiverse. So we would like to spend some time today to showcase a few examples that might help illustrate what Miiverse is. The first example is from downloadable game Trying 2 Director's Cut by Frozen Byte. When players get stuck in the game and ask for help on Miiverse, other players help them to get past the problem. You can also see that the game developers actually commented directly on a player's drawing. When we developed Miiverse, we hoped that players would connect with each other by asking and teaching, sharing experiences. We can see this happening globally. I believe that the fun of the game is not only when playing a game, but also sharing your feelings and experiences with others who also have feelings about the game, no matter how different your game experience are, or how far you are separated by distance, or even if you don't play together at the same time. The next example is from UbiSoft's Zombie U title. This game is very hard and challenging, but Miiverse works as a relaxed and welcoming gaming atmosphere. Our final example is the super high quality artwork we see on Miiverse. Even here at Nintendo, we are surprised to see so many people who are so skilled at drawing. If you have checked out Miiverse on Wii U, you may feel the same way too. There really are so many fantastic hand drawing, and I'm sorry we can't show them all here with our limited time. The example we showed today are only the tip of the iceberg when looking at what is happening on Miiverse right now. I hope you take the chance to see what's going on yourself. Some special Mii characters with marking are beginning to appear in Miiverse. A green check mark is attached at the upper left of the Mii. These are Mii characters that have been confirmed as the official accounts of the listed user. We created this system for corporations, organizations, and other individuals to have their authenticity verified by Nintendo. At present, we verified accounts for individuals such as people 
who are involved with software development and are mainly utilizing these accounts to provide new information about their games and services. These special me users can attach links to an external website to their posts or can embed YouTube videos. I think that there are many people who viewed the post from Mr. Takemoto, the director of New Super Mario Bros. U, where he shared Super Play videos with the New Super Mario Bros. U community. We will continue to utilize this feature and provide a variety of updates and new information now that you can view YouTube videos from within Mebus. Stepping away from Mebus since launch, we've been receiving many consumer requests for a variety of improvements that they would like to see with Wii U. We are planning to provide two significant system updates, one in spring and another in summer in response to some of these requests and to also add some new features. We recognize the time it takes to launch software and to return to the menu screen is one of the biggest issues on Wii U. We are going to improve it incrementally in two stages with these updates, once in spring and again summer. Another of the user requests we've been hearing a lot since even before Wii U launch is everyone saying they like to play virtual console games on the Wii U gamepad. We are planning to launch the Wii U virtual console service right after the spring system update releases. However, the original Wii virtual console lineup was prepared over a long period of time. So we cannot offer the entire lineup at the time the Wii U Virtual Console service starts. Please understand the situation. At the time the service starts, we will prepare a selection of NES and Super NES titles. The Wii U version of Virtual Console games are being newly developed for the Wii U system. Similar to the Nintendo 3DS Virtual Console, you will be able to save a backup of your game progress. The service will also have other features, including the ability to play off TV on the Wii U gamepad, as well as accessibility to a Miiverse community. We are also planning to add other platforms, including Game Boy Advance, which we haven't released for the Wii Virtual Console. We will offer special pricing for those of you who have already purchased the Wii version of a Virtual Console game and transferred it to Wii U. The prices for NES and Super NES Virtual Console games for Wii U will be the same as they were for the Wii version. If you have already purchased the game, on Wii and transferred it to Wii U, the Nintendo eShop will display the reduced price for you automatically. 2013 is the 30th anniversary of the release of the original family computer or Famicom from Nintendo in Japan, which of course was called the NES in America and Europe. So we have decided to offer a virtual console trial campaign making one NES title or Super NES title available for purchase each month starting this month and lasting through July, the month when the Famicom originally launched. The titles coming before April will be available before the official virtual console service starts. We are planning this campaign to offer the virtual console experience on Wii U to a wider range of players. To celebrate the 30th anniversary of the Famicom, the selected titles will be available for the special low price of 30 cents. 
each title will be available at a special price for 30 days. You don't need to have a Wii version Virtual Console game to participate in this campaign. The price for each title will return to its normal price after the campaign distribution period is over. After that time, if you already own the Wii Virtual Console version, you will be able to purchase the game at the reduced price. If you do not own the Wii version, you can purchase the game at the normal eShop price. So I hope you will try out these games during the campaign period to see if you might be interested in buying a particular game. These are the games we will be offering each month as a part of the campaign. We've selected Balloon Fight for which I was one of the game developers as the first title in the campaign. You can purchase the game as soon as this Nintendo Direct is concluded. Please download it and enjoy. Perhaps you will want to show off your skills by posting how much you can score in the balloon trip on Meavers. I'm hoping some of you would post a screenshot with a great score on your post to surprise us. Combining Virtual Console games with Meavers opens up another new possibility for the service. As I've said before, the fun of games is being able to both enjoy the game themselves plus being able to talk about them with others and share those experiences. For example, in Pikmin 3, we are planning to include a feature that lets you use the Wii U gamepad as a camera to capture close-up photos in-game and share them in Meavers. I think you will be able to find new enjoyment by capturing climactic moments where you can see sceneries and creatures at the same eye level as Pikmin and share them with others. For We Fit You, we are going to add new features that will let you create closed user communities on Meavers. A specific ID number will be assigned for each user community. Once you use the ID number within WeFitU, you can then access it to see the community in the Miva screen. It may be easier to understand if you remember the community features in Mario Kart 7 for Nintendo 3DS. You will be able to discuss exercises, BMI or weight changes, and other health topics with other players who you are exercising with to encourage and push each other to achieve your fitness goals. Because Miiverse is in broad terms a closed web-based service that employs many internet server-side features, we can easily make changes and also add features. We are planning to expand some features this spring. The user communities, which will be introduced at the time of the Wii Fit U launch, is one of these additional features. We will also add additional official communities for individual software titles and usability improvements. We are seeing issues that interesting posts can easily be buried by many posts these days. To solve the issues, we are working on adding a filtering functions and so forth which users can use to access posts.